Welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be using our time table facts to work out the answers to some questions. Hi Niall, how are you? I'm good, you? Good, thank you. So can you remind everyone, what do we do when we multiply a number by 10? You add a zero onto the number that you're multiplying by 10. Good, so for example, 2 times 10 is? 20. 2 and a zero is 20. 17 times 10 is? Um, 170. So you add a zero. So do you know what we do when we divide a number by 10? Take away a zero. Very good. So can you do If those? there is one. If there is a zero, that's a good point. Because it doesn't work if the number doesn't have a zero. So with that in mind, can you work out those four, four questions on the board? 40 divided by 10, you take away the zero, so it equals 4. Very good. And then 80 divided by 10, do the same thing, just take off the zero, so it equals 8. And then 20, 250 divided by 10, well, it's a bigger number, but it's still... Take away the zero, 25. Very good, now. And then three, 3,570 divided by 10. Take away the zero, 357. Very good, 357. Okay. Excellent, Niall. Well done. So now that question on the board, can you read it out for us? 80 divided by 20. Can you think of two numbers that it's easy to divide by, that when you multiply it together we get 20? Um, 10 and 2. 10 and 2. So instead of dividing by 20 in one go, what we're going to do is first divide our number by 10, and then divide by 2, because 10 times 2 is... 20. Good, so that's what we're going to do. So let's, I'll, I'll do this one with you. So let's start with 80 divided by 10. And what is 80 divided by 10? 8. Okay, so we've just learned that. So you take away the 0 and it's 8. Good. So we've just divided the number by 10, but we're not finished. Because 10 times what gives us 20? 10 times 2. Good. Gives us so now 10. we're going to take that 8 and we're going to divide it by 2. So can you put 8 divided by 2 on the board? 8 divided by 2 mm -hmm. equals 4. Equals 4. So does that mean our final answer is 4? I think it does mean that. But let's check on our fingers 80 divided by 20 to make sure that our method is correct. 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, so what's the answer? 4. Very good, so put your answer up there. What's the question on the board now? 180 divided by 30. What's the plan? Um, I'll do 180 divided by 10, and then... So 180 divided by 10... I might need to put out my 10. And then I'll do I'll do that answer divided by 3 because 3 times 10 equals 30. Very good. So what is 180 divided by 10? 18. Okay. And how do you know it's 18? Because um, take away the 0, 18. Very good. So can you put the 18 on the board? One hundred and eighty divided by ten equals eighteen. So eighteen divided by three equals three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, six. Okay. And remember, you have your times table grid next to you as well. Oh if you yes. Need help. Okay. So what is one hundred and eighty divided by thirty? Very good. 
What's the question on the board? 250 divided by 50. Okay, so what are you going to do? 250 divided by 10. Okay. 250 divided by 10 equals 25. And then, now I'll do 25 divided by 5. Very good, why have you chosen 5? Because 5 times 10 equals 50. Okay. What um, is 25 divided by 5? Five. 5. Very good. So what is the answer to the question? 5. So 250 divided by 50 is equal to 5. 5. Okay, brilliant. Okay, what's the question? 630 divided by 90. What's the plan? Uh, 630 divided by 10. Mm -hmm. Equals 63. So now I'll do 63. Um, if I can find the 6. Okay. 63 divided by 9. Um, where's 9? And then I might have to use this. So 9 to 63. Let me see. 9 to 63, then you go over and it equals 7. So the answer is 7. So I'll put my 7 there, and then the final answer is 7. So 630 divided by 90 equals 7. Yes. Good job. What's the question on the board now? 360 divided by 40. Okay, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to do 360 divided by 10, which is 36. 36. Mm -hmm. And then what are you going to do? And then I'm going to do 36 divided by um, 4. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to find out what that is. Um, 36 divided by 4 equals 9. Brilliant. So, 9. And then the full answer is... 9. Excellent. So, 360 divided by 40 is 9. Yes. Now, Nine, can you tell us why you've chosen 10 and 4? Because 4 times 10 equals 40. Now, can I ask you a question? Can you tell me two other numbers that multiply to give 40? <laughs> so we did 10 by 4, so can we oh, think 40. of another way? 8 times 5. 8 times 5. So have a look at the camera. So 8 times 5 also gives 40. Why do you think that we've divided by 10 and then 4 instead of dividing by 8 and then 5, which would give us the answer as well? Um, because that would be trickier. It would be trickier. So we've actually chosen the 10 and 4 for a reason. Yeah. Why is it easy to divide 360 by 10? Because all you have to do is add a zero. Or take away the zero if we divide them, yeah. yes? Yeah. So that's why we've chosen that number. Okay? So I'm going to ask you one question that I want you to do in your head to end the lesson. In my head. Mentally. Yes? You ready yeah. for this? Yes? Yes. Okay. What is so the I'm answer? I'm going to catch a cricket ball. <laughs> what is the answer? to 240 divided by 30. 
No, I want you to talk through the calculations. I don't know. I don't 240 know. divided by 30. I want you to use um, the So method. 240 divided by 10 is 24. And then 24 divided by 3 is... Wait, can I use this? Yes. Okay. 24 divided by 3. Is eight. Is eight. So Very eight, good. Eight, eight, I think eight. you deserve one more. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. And then two more. What is four hundred and fifty divided by fifty? Um. So four hundred and fifty divided by ten is forty-five, and then forty-five divided by five. Equals 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 9. 9. Very good, 9. One more? Yes. What is 1,000 divided by 20? Um, so, you 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. And then 100 divided by 2 is 50. So the answer is 50. Excellent, Naya. That comes to the end of our video. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe now. Bye! Don't forget to press that like button!